the Sioux lies in the heart of the Vilas neighborhood in Madison, Wisconsin. It is one of three completely free zoos in the country. The zoo has been around for over 100 years. William and Anna Vilas gave a large amount of land to the Madison Park and Pleasure Drive Association. The Vilas family donated an additional $42,000 for improvements and with public donations of $10,000. Enough money was raised for expanding the park. It was named in memory of the Vilas' son, Henry, who died at an early age. In 1911, the park became a zoo. Since opening, many new animals have been added to the zoo, such as the penguins, the Siberian tiger, lions, varied species of monkeys, and many more different animals. Now, more than 100 years after its creation, the zoo still overflows with visitors. We noticed that many of the visitors were families with very small children. We wondered why the parents bring their young kids to the zoo, whether it's for educational or recreational purposes. In the hopes of learning why parents chose the zoo over parks, we interviewed adults with young children to understand why they bring their kids to the zoo. Uh, can we please ask you a few questions about uh, the zoo? About the what? The zoo. Uh, how long have you been taking your kids to the zoo? Well, we've only lived here for, this is the first time. First time? Yeah. Because we've only just like, moved here. Oh, cool. Um, and what do you want your kids to learn from this? Just about the different animals. Uh, different things about them. Thank you. So, do you take your kids to the zoo? I do. A lot. Uh, um, and what do you want them to get out of their experience at the zoo? Well, typically when I bring them to the zoo, I'm hoping that they can get some fresh air, some exercise, and continue to learn about the animals that are here. I think that when kids learn about the animals, they end up caring for them. I think that we tend to care about what we know about. And so the tigers, the lions, the polar bear, uh, these are important animals uh, for them to care about. What are your kids' favorite things to do, to do at the zoo? Uh, I think they love the playground, for sure, and to see other kids. But they love seeing the animals they haven't seen in a while, or baby animals. Some of the inside exhibits, like the uh, reptiles, they really dig those, because you can get really close. Thank you. You're welcome. Pursuing a more solid answer, we were able to sit down with Ray Shunk the senior volunteer at the zoo and ask him a few questions. Well, Vilas Park Zoo is the best thing that happened to Madison. Everything in the Vilas Park Zoo is all free. Uh, the only thing you have to pay for is the train rides and the carousel rides, which is only a dollar a piece. Parents have to ride on a carousel if their children are only are less than 42 inches high. All the animals and stuff, we have uh, a goat feeding area over to the left of us here. Um, it's just great. The only place the other you, you pay money is the, the concession stand and the gift shop. Other than that, everything else is free. We have bus loads from Iowa, Minnesota, all, all over all over the state. We've had buses, 50, 60 buses here at a time. And I think it's great. All right, why don't you ask me the last couple of questions? What do you want the children who come to the zoo to learn from their experience? Just learn how to about the zoo, about uh, how they take care of animals, and you meet a lot of people in the, at the zoo here. It's great. What uh, What do you think? You've got kids and grandkids in the area. Yeah. And you've got uh, with like the new polar bear exhibit going up, which is also an endangered species. What do you hope they'll get out of this? You know, ten years down the road. Oh, just to see that they have to take care of our environment and the animals all over the world. Uh, there, some, so many of them are getting distinct now because of land. And they're taking land over for different housing projects and hotels and all that, and they're getting run out of their property, and it, which is too bad. At the zoo, you can see those animals, and you'll see them the rest of your life. And it's great for the kids to see those animals. These interviews helped us get an idea of what parents want their children to get out of their experience at the zoo and what people who work and volunteer at the zoo want people to experience. Even so, we still wanted more information. 
We thought that we needed the opinion of a person who works with children outside of the zoo. Some child experts zoos are important places for young children to further develop emotional skills like empathy. My name is Julie Palman and I have my PhD in clinical psychology and I'm a licensed psychologist and I study early childhood development and I'm a professor at the University of Wisconsin. I think there are a number of benefits. The first one is just helping kids appreciate the diversity of creatures on this planet. It's really amazing to see all the different ones. And I also think it's a great opportunity to educate kids about animal habitats and how humans affect the habitats and then what we can do to help. And then I also think it's a great opportunity to have discussions about animals and creatures and you know, have empathy for them because they're in cages um, and talk about how we can be respectful of them. What do you think the goals of the parents are for taking their children to the zoo? Well, I think some parents take their kids to the zoo because they just want to have a good time and be outside. But I also think zoos have their purpose and mission, and it's more in the educational realm. So they're hoping the kids learn something. Uh, why do you think a lot of schools have their kids take many field trips to the zoo? Well, it's a great place to bring a group of kids, and there's also lots of opportunities for the kids to learn about animals, and it can tie in with whatever they're studying. What can a parent or institution expect a child to learn by going to the zoo? Well, if it's a very young child, they basically, if a child who can't read, they're basically learning what they see and what people tell them. So it's really dependent on who they're with. And so if they have a parent who's willing to, you know, talk to them and point out different things and help them observe the animals and learn how to be respectful, they learn all sorts of great things. If they just walk around, they still see things and, and can appreciate the beauty of, of the different creatures. Why do you think that the parents would take the time to teach the kids about animals by taking their children to the I think that a lot of parents are hoping that their children will learn about animals so they can be kind to them and so they can appreciate what the animal's characteristics are and what they look like and what their behaviors are. And it's just really exciting to learn about different creatures. We were also able to interview some of the zoo staff and volunteers. Why do you think uh, children come to the zoo? I think kids come to the zoo to see lots of the animals and to have fun with their family. Okay, and what do you think uh, children learn by coming here? Children learn about all the animals, and I think they learn about um, conserving the earth and having fun. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So, why do you think uh, parents take their children to the zoo? Um, basically so they can uh, hopefully teach them something about the animals and to, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun. The next time you're at the zoo, think about why you are really there.